fringed by farmland outside Filer, the city cemetery is really, well, more country. As a nice, quiet place in the country, that's what it is. It's God's Acre that's actually 10 and was originally known as the Oddfellows Cemetery, a designation that also seems like a characterization, but it's not. Well, that means that the IOOF Lodge started this cemetery in 1908. Of those 111 years, Tom Lancaster, to where the originals? You mean the first? Has walked these grounds for 25 of them. Right here. Stop by and he'll be happy to show you around. Probably husband and wife. And share some of the cemetery's secrets. From the family that lost more than a fair share of kids to illness. Got five of them. To the plot put in place a few years earlier. The same spring, Haley's Comet made its periodic pass by the planet. A scary time for some. Some of them they scared more than others. In 1910, Teffel Tony wanted no part of it. This father was afraid his family was going to burn up in the crash or something, and he killed them all, including himself, to save them the pain. Those kinds of stories. Well, that's what I was told. Tom has collected <sighs> as the only caretaker and lone lawnmower for the better part of the last two decades. He's still out here due to a sense of duty for sure, but also it's just a simple act of attrition. I'm still here. The odd fellows aren't, they, they, they died out a long time ago. Everybody got old and died except me. There are other reasons that bring Tom back several days a week. Of the 2,700 that have made this. My grandfather and grandmother right there. Their final resting place. My dad and my mother. A large percentage are Lancasters. 27. 27. Yeah, this is my grandson. Yeah, 12 years old. In 1998, Eric Lancaster was trying out for soccer with a defective heart nobody knew about. Still bothers me. And it took me more than the first summer to be able to stand here like this and talk about him. Now 81, Tom has decided this summer he's stepping away and time to find something else to do with his time. Oh, I'll find something to So for at least a few more weeks, he'll be able to do what few get a chance to do, walk among his past while also getting a glimpse of his future, literally. Who's this? That's me. <laughs> yep, Tom has had his own headstone in place for the past five years. A reminder that doesn't even rattle him. Doesn't bother me at all. I see 2,700 of them every, every week. <laughs> A unique perspective that comes from putting things in perspective. While there won't always be a need for fraternal organizations. I'm the last of the filer odd fellows. There will always be a need for a cemetery. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that seems to be a fact. Brian Holmes, Idaho's News Channel 7.